Hey guys, check out realfactory.com and use Owen FIFA at checkout for a discount. We do everything, guys, comfort trade and um, player trades, everything like that. Look, if you see here, all for a great price. Um, they do lots of different prices of coins, so a million, 100k, whatever you want. And all the players like De Bruyne inform, all the team of the year, stuff like that. And also, guys, you do have a 24 7 support series where you can even look at your tickets that you've bought. There's sort of chat option and loads of different questions and answers, so you'll have no problems at all. But yeah, guys, check out Mule Factory and use Owen FIFA at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on today? Welcome back to what is a different sort of video and the sort of video we'll be doing up until the release of FIFA 21 now. So I'm going to be showing you today the top 5 most overpowered strikers at the start of the game. We'll then go on to right wings, left wings, cams, CMs and go all the way through it. We're trying to do two of these a day starting from tomorrow so there should be only one up today on the 16th and then we'll be trying to do two a day and we're trying to get some squad builders out so loads of FIFA 21 related stuff. We're not trading stuff until the game comes out so I feel like it's not really fair to be bringing out trading tips that aren't actually that great to be honest with you and I don't know what the mock's going to be like I'm not going to let you other traders that are going to sit here and release shit that's like not going to be good enough you know what I mean over time we're starting off here with Anaki Williams this guy's stats so far look incredible he's six foot one with 94 pace his shooting's not bad at the start of the game and good physical as well so I mean you see on here like there's a lot of comments people are already like saying how good he is obviously people are hoping he gets a decent week foot and skills but we don't know that yet this is just on the base of what is going on at the moment Next going to be um, Haaland, so obviously again this guy's got all his in-game stats out there, he's only 3 star, 3 star, which doesn't matter too much, but his shooting is 87, I mean look at his shooting stats on an 84 rated card like this, I mean he's even going to have about 88 sprints, he's going to be flying down, so this is 4th place, I was going to put him actually 3rd, but I did change my mind, sorry about that, I think game one of the players away. Um, by accident, <laughs> but um, yeah you can see his strength is like 91, he's 6 foot 4, he's going to be... Uh, incredible, he should be incredible. Hopefully, um, his weak foot doesn't let him down too much. Obviously, I mean, don't know what he's like at the start of the game, how vital that will be. Sometimes it's not so vital, so it might be all right. Next up is Gabriel Jesus here, he's a smaller one, so he's only five foot nine. Um, not sure if he'll suit this game so much, but he should do at the start still with 85 pace and 87 dribbling, even as a cam, maybe. And um, if he's passing, if you got like a chem style with plus 10 passing on him. Um, 82 shooting as well, I mean, they're not bad stats at all. Um, only H3 rated, so he should be only maybe 40 50k. And let's be real, everyone at the start will open a few packs and get themselves some coins. Um, next, going to be more expensive. I think like, maybe the more expensive one on this list, uh, one of the more expensive ones, anyway, the top two. But again, these are players that you want to be getting in your squad early on. Like, you don't want to mess about buying rubbish teams. Just get the good players in and build and play weekend league or trade, and we'll show you how to trade, obviously, once the game comes out. There will be videos every day, guys. Like, I tried a bit of a thing with Karim out of FIFA 20 a couple of weeks ago or a couple of days ago, and like, I just couldn't be arsed. Like, it's just pointless. It's dead. I'd rather bring out some exciting stuff. Like, if nobody watches these, whatever, but I'm having fun making them and looking through. So, Marshall's got 89 pace, 87 dribble, 83 shots, 74 passing, and his physical's not great, but I mean, hopefully, with him being 6 foot, it might make him seem a little bit more stronger than what he is. Sometimes that is the case. And so hopefully that'll be the case. But for me, number one, you can probably guess it anyway. If you haven't guessed this, then I'm a bit shocked because it'll be Ben Yedder probably. It'll probably be insane like last year. He's got a similar sort of card but better. So um, he's got to be only five foot seven. He's small, but he can play cam. He can play anywhere really, like uh, up front. You could even put him probably like out on the wing if you like a left forward, right forward. Um, he's got 84 pace, 87 dribble, 83 shot. Like all his stats are so good. <laughs> Look at the comments. I think the, everyone knows he's going to be insane. Like, they just know he's going to be really, really good. His dribbling is really high as well. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. They're only going to be short videos because, I mean, I can't really sit here for 10 minutes and talk about these cards. Like, if all the stats are out, maybe, and everything like that, but there's just no chance. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please do drop a like. So, if you're new as well, if you want to see more stuff for 21, um, that would be great. And I will see you all very soon with another video.